It's been a while. Two things uh, knocked me off the uh, YouTube uh, craze uh, that I have going. The first thing was the live, the live YouTube things, okay? I think I must have attracted every fucking whack job on the internet, okay? So I have a, a good friend that won't stop texting me. You know, I had a good friend that he gave me a great idea of, of, of how to do a live chat again, is to charge money. So when I do, it's going to cost $25 for an hour or an hour and a half, however long they go. So that's down the line. The other thing is, I'm a big Stravinsky fan. And I found a piece by him called Dumbarton Oaks Concerto. Look it up. And I bought the score to it. Here's the first nine bars of it, okay? There's more music in these nine bars than I've ever heard in my life. It's a neoclassical thing. There's a bunch of themes going on uh, over a, uh, a flute part. Try and play some of it. There we go. Uh, that's just, well, shit. B flat, one mistake. It's really small to see. There's a lot of that going on, and then this. Like neoclassical stuff, great stuff. Uh, so I got distracted by that, and uh, so what I did was I had the, the, the instrumentation is kind of wild. One flute, one uh, clarinet in B flat, one bassoon, two French horns in F, three violins, three violas, two violin cellos, and two contrabasses. It's a chamber orchestra piece. Uh, and I'm trying to figure out what did he hear in his head that he can get all these ideas happening and they all fit and it's not dissonance. No dissonance at all. And there's three movements of it. Very little dissonance. It's a really cool piece. Um, I don't want to play too much of it. Uh, Stravinsky's estate is very picky about uh, who plays his music. So I'm going to stop there. So this is the guitar with the metal pickup, the Eastman. I changed out the, well, I didn't do it. Bill Cummins did it for me. Changed out the wooden pickup pick, uh, bridge, the wooden bridge. I'm forgetting the, the parts of the guitar. Uh, and I like this better. I like the, the, the sound is better. It's not as loud acoustically. You know, here's no, no, uh, no amp. It's louder with the, with the wooden bridge. Not by much. But this is more solid. The notes, are, the intonation is better. sound so uh, there's a free chord if you'd like to donate 12 bucks hit the, the PayPal button this finger is doing nothing. This finger is giving you the finger. Okay? It's a uh, G major seven with a flat five, top four strings, and I'm putting an F sharp and a B down here. There's another good chord that I like a lot. Good chord. E minor nine. E B. G, B, E, F sharp. I use it here. John Coltrane, Central Park West. Thirteen, D major seven, 
This is all over a pedal. Seven, B flat minor, E flat seven, A flat major seven, G minor seven, C seven, F, C sharp minor seven, F sharp seven, B major, and the rest over pedal. B, C sharp minor seven, F sharp seven, sus. And yet the chord didn't change, just the name, because of the F sharp. B. And can go into this. Forget about triads. Not everything has to be a major seven or a four note chord. Sixth. You know, uh, I once wrote these uh, exercises out for a private student, okay? Now, here's what's very hard to get across to people. You have to retain the melodic cell, like th uh, th thirds. You have to retain it in your ear. So part of this exercise is to use your ear to continue that sequence on each note of the major scale. And it doesn't matter what the melodic cell is. If I do sixth, One sixth up, one going back. If you write them out, then, then the student reads them, and it, de it defeats the purpose of, of the melodic cell. You have to concentrate, you have to hear it in your ear, so you can recognize these intervals when you hear them in somebody's solo. Sixth. Thirds and sixths. Switch guitars and my least favorite sound in the world. Okay, hang on. I'm gonna put this so I don't lose it. It's starting to get cold. Ugh. Uh. <coughs> Not, nothing like this guitar. Shout out to my friend John H. Time I play this guitar, I think about you, John. This is a 71 or 72, it's about 50 years old. Seth Lover pickups. Look up that guy if you want. This is a really cool tuner, it goes in the back. Look. That's where you just touch it, it goes on. It's made by Snark. I can't see it. There we go. Still can't see it. Okay, it's, it's on now, and you can. it's easier to read than the other ones. Oh, it's 
pitch pretty good. pickups, I'll tell you. Oh, sometimes people make uh, some of my suggestions or these little mini lessons that I do to make them more complicated. Um, people ask, okay, the, the five, the, uh, the five fingers, always, people always get it completely fucked up. They say, well, where's the the one that starts on the root? You're already playing the root on this one. See, you're still thinking that it's a scale or a mode. Well, unfortunately, I can't get inside your head and fix your fucking stupidity. They're not scales, they're not modes, they're pictures. Like this is a picture. Okay? That's where all the white notes are, the consonant notes are on the on the guitar. In each key. And once again, if you don't know the key signatures, you can't do it. <coughs> if you don't know the key signatures, I think it's time for you to give up the guitar and music and uh, go to toll booth school. That's where they get the weather people at. Okay, I'm done. There's a PayPal button. Those twelve-dollar donations come in handy. So uh, I'll put it somewhere in the video, probably in the description. I for, I haven't done one in such a long time. I don't remember where I put it. I don't even know what to call this thing. for now.